guys. Um, today I am here to show you how to fold a paper crane. So the April 2019 Coco Daisy Kits, the Cherish Blossom Kit, has a free printable for folding a paper crane. And um, I've printed these off of the Coco Daisy website and I'm going to do a little video tutorial to go along with uh, the written directions. You are going to need your set of written directions. Uh, to refer back to. You're going to need a square piece of thin paper. So what I'm using here is um, authentic Japanese hand silk screened washi paper. I ordered this um, online from a shop on Etsy called The Rare Orchid. And just look at the beautiful detail in this. She has the most beautiful papers and washies and they are all authentic uh, from Japan. And I've cut this into eight inches. Now the size doesn't matter. It does have to be a square, but I will say this, uh, if you're fairly new to origami and you're not sure about the folds, you're gonna wanna use a larger piece of paper because we're gonna be folding this down and there's gonna be layers upon layers and it's easier to be more accurate when you're first starting out if you have a big piece of paper. This one is eight inches by eight inches. Uh, traditional origami paper I think is like six inches or four inches. Like you, I mean, you can make tiny ones, you can make big ones. Um, but I think that uh, starting out with eight by eight is a pretty good size. Although you'll see as we go through some of the corners uh, start to get a little uh, thick and chunky. You're also gonna want something to help you crease, make creases. This is just a scoring tool, but you can use your fingernail, you can use uh, the side of a pair of scissors, whatever you've got. So I'm gonna put these off to the side and then we'll go through step-by-step -step directions. So you want to start with your paper um, on a diagonal like this with the colored side facing up. And you're gonna lift up the bottom and fold to the corner. And right here from the very, very beginning, you are going to want to be as accurate with your folds as possible. If you are just a little bit off, then every fold on top of that is gonna be compounded and be off. Unfold it, turn it 90 degrees, and fold the other way. I find a, finger, a fingernail works well for these initial folds. Then what you're gonna do is turn your paper over and you're going to, this time, fold side to side. Unfold, 90 degrees, and go again. Okay. So we've just gotten through uh, step two. And now we're gonna make this weird little boxy square shape. So what you wanna do is with your paper facing down, you wanna take the two creases on the sides and bring them up towards each other and then pull them down towards you. So up to the middle and then down towards you and then flatten the top. And we have made this little sort of layered square, okay? This takes us here through step three. So for step four, let me sit down, this will be easier. We're going to take the top layer of paper and we're going to fold this bottom edge right here up to the center. So you have a crease here from where you folded before and I would like to use my fingernail and kind of use it as a guide and just slowly go a little bit up at a time until I get the whole thing. You want it really lined up perfectly with the center as close as you can get it. And then you want to do the same with the other side. Again, I use my fingernail right in that point. That helps me get the point folded. And then right there up to the edge. Okay, oh, look what I just did. I just ended up unfolding that corner. So take your time to fix it if you need to, whatever you gotta do. Okay. Then you're gonna unfold those back down and take the top and fold the point down to the center just where those, to where those creases are. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to lift this top piece up and we're gonna sort of fold it 
in. So what I find is easy to do is to keep this piece flat, like use your finger, kind of push this up flat on the inside, then use your other hand to kind of crease this back the other way and it's gonna end up laying flat like that. You do have to maneuver, sort of finagle the paper a little bit, but that's all right. It ends up being all good at the end. Okay, so we've just lifted that up, made this sort of inside out, and now here we are at the end of step six. And then we're gonna turn the paper over and do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're gonna fold the bottom edge toward the center, crease it really well. Same thing on the other side. Those bottom, the little bottom corner, those are the toughest, but if you can get those flat, you're gonna be in good shape. Okay, fold this down just to the center. And then we're gonna, again, put your finger there, lift this up and push it down, and then use your other hand to sort of fold it inside out. There we go. Okay. And hopefully, hopefully your creases are meeting nicely in the middle like this. You've got some good points going on there. Okay. This takes us to step seven. Now for step eight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take again the top layer and we're gonna fold, same thing, bottom right edge into the center. And again, I like to use my fingernail because now we're talking about really thin folds down here in the point. And we're folding this right up to the center like so. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ooh, that is a teeny little fold, y'all. All right, I might have a better, I was gonna say, I might have a better time if I turn this around so I could do it with my right hand instead of my left. But there we go. That about does it. Okay, I think on the other side, maybe I'll show you how I turn it to use my right hand. Nice and flat. All right. So there is step eight. And then for step nine, we're just gonna turn it over and do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna use my fingernail to fold the edge. Teeny little corner. Yeah, I'm definitely better with my right hand than my left. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this upside down so I can do it this way. so I can hold the point with my left hand and then fold in with my right hand. Oh, so that's much better. Okay. So here we are at the end of step nine, okay? So for step 10, we're gonna create the head and the tail of the crane. So you're gonna take the whole bottom piece here, and we've got a, this fold right here. We're gonna fold this up and out, sort of parallel with that fold right there. And you gotta make a pretty good crease here. I'm gonna turn it over on the other side too, because we're about to try to turn this inside out. And this part is kind of weird. So you fold it back down, I'm gonna lift it up, and we're gonna open it and we're gonna flip this up and turn it inside out. So we're gonna take this part that is folded up and we're gonna turn it to be folded down and we're gonna go right along that crease that we just made. It was on this side, as you see, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're gonna do the same thing to both sides. So it doesn't matter if you have it right side up or upside down. Okay, so. Then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Fold it up like this, about parallel. Unfold it, 
and we're going to turn it inside out right along that crease. And you do kind of have to finagle a little bit, but there, oh, that, you know, boy, that's probably the best plan I've ever done right there. Okay. So we have the head and the tail. You're going to fold your wings down. down and then to differentiate the head from the tail we're going to take uh, one side whichever one you want doesn't matter and we're going to fold the head down so we're going to make again fold down and make a crease like we just did a minute ago and then we're going to open it and fold it down and inside out and squeeze it that way there we go and there's the head of your crane. All right, once you're here, if you turn them upside down, you can kind of open the legs a little bit, pull on the wings a little bit to get them to open, and he should stand up just like that. And there we are, guys, our paper crane. I'll show you up close what he should look like. There's the inside out head. All right, so there you go. I hope that this video is helpful for you. Please feel free to answer any or ask me any questions rather down below and I will answer them as best I can. Bye everybody. Have a great weekend.